In this video, I'll show you how you can create YouTube Shorts inside of DaVinci Resolve, and I'll also show you two bonus websites that you can use to make your YouTube Shorts a lot better. So first you need to go ahead and open DaVinci Resolve and start a new project. Once you've done that, go to File in the top right hand corner, then go to Project Settings. Here you need to then change the dimensions from 1920 by 1080 to 1080 by 1920 and then you can go ahead and scroll down and click save. Now you might not see that update straight away because now we need to go ahead and import our clip. So you can import anything that you want to turn into a short. I'm going to drag in this video here from my downloads. So we'll go to change here, we'll change the frame rate. So now you've got your video imported into DaVinci Resolve. And this video is just a drone shot of someone flying a drone down the beach. Now I got this video by the way for free and I can use it royalty free without having to credit any owner because I got it from a website called pexels.com and here you can search for any keyword and it will bring up thousands of royalty free videos you can use in your YouTube shorts completely for free. So that's bonus website number one. But anyway, now we've got our clip inside of DaVinci Resolve, we can now go to the edit tab at the bottom and now we can resize our clip so it takes up the whole YouTube shorts dimensions. So if you click on the clip and then go to inspector in the top right hand corner, you can then go to here where it says transform. You can then change these entries here. Now, if you just want to get it to fill the YouTube shorts dimensions, you just want to simply zoom in. So if you hover over the number, you'll have a slider appear. So we can just zoom in here and then we can change the X and Y axis. So we can move it left and right here. So let's say we want to move it to about here. That looks good for me. So now let's just play the clip a little bit. And the preview is a bit jolty and a bit laggy, but you can see we've got the drone shot in the YouTube Shorts dimensions. So now I'm going to show you one more bonus website, then I'll show you how you can export this. So if you wanted to create really good, high quality text to speech for free, I recommend you go ahead and go to a website called voicemaker.in. And again, this comes in useful for YouTube Shorts because you can create them without speaking. You just type in whatever you want here, then convert that to speech, and you can choose all of these voices and edit it to how you like it. Then you can click on download MP3 and that will download this text into a text to speech voice. You can then drag this onto DaVinci Resolve. So there you go. So now we need to cut the bit of the clip that we want to export as a YouTube short. So click on this button here, which is the blade tool and you can kind of cut the start and then cut the end. Then go back to this button here, the selection mode, click on that. Then you can click on the other clips that you don't want. So there you go. Now you've got your YouTube short. So now once we're happy with our clip, we can go ahead and export it. So go down here to deliver, which is at the bottom. That will take you into the export window where we can change the render settings. So you want to go to custom export. And then the resolution you want is going to be 1080 by 1920, which is the dimensions that we entered in at the start. You've then got the frame rate, you've also got the quality which is set to best and once you're happy with that you can go ahead and give it a name, so I'll call it short and I'll find a folder here to put it in. Now once you're happy with that we can go ahead and add it to the render queue and it should just render, or oh, you have to click on render all, sorry I forgot about that. So now it's nearly done and we should find it in our folder. So here is the YouTube short which we can open and there you go, there's your YouTube short in the YouTube Shorts format. I hope that video was helpful. Let me know in the comment section below if you've got any questions.